Hey everybody, today I'm going to share with you my free subscription manager template. So obviously nowadays a lot of things are subscription based, whether you got uh, Microsoft 365 and uh, in, in Excel and all those things that are now on subscription, you got obviously Netflix streaming services, got Amazon Prime, all that sort of stuff. And so it can be hard to manage all these different subscriptions to know how much you're actually spending every month. And so what this template does is make that process easier for you. So you can enter the name of your subscription, what category, and these aren't drop downs here, these are free forms. So if you're entering them in, you just wanna make sure you're spelling them consistently each time. You can put the date that you subscribed, how frequent. Now here you can select between monthly or annual, and then the amount of your subscription, if it's a monthly amount, you put in a monthly amount. If it's an annual amount, like let's say Walmart Plus, you put in the annual cost. You put in a renewal date, and these are your inputs. So off to this section, which is highlighted in gray, these headers here, these are all formulas. And the purpose of these formulas are to compute the monthly and annual cost, because here you can enter monthly or annual. So if you go out monthly, this is gonna just be the same amount. If it's annual, it's gonna multiply that by 12. Now on the flip side, if you've entered annual here, $98, it can be $98, and for the mat, for the monthly, it's going to sort of normalize this and say, okay, this is the equivalent of paying $8.17 per month. So it's going to divide it by 12. So that's what it's doing there. The purpose of it being to, to sort of allow you to uh, track your expenses, whether you want to look, out, look at them on a monthly basis or an annual basis, and, you know, work within your budget to see how much you're actually spending on a per month basis versus annual. So it allows you to have those two different views. And I've got this other column here called days to action. And what this is, is really to say, okay, this is how many days until this renewal date. So the closer you get to the renewal date, you'll start to see some conditional formatting. So right now, as I'm doing this video, it's July 26th. So I'm within five days of this renewal date. So it tells me that in five days, I need to either do something, either it's going to automatically renew or you know, I should consider canceling it if I don't want it. So this can be useful if you're doing trials and you know, it's just a one month trial, one week trial, whatever the case may be. And you wanna be careful that it doesn't auto renew at a higher rate. This is where putting in that date can be useful. Now, if it's within 30 days, not within, not within two weeks, then it'll highlight in this yellowish orange color. And so this is where, you know, it sort of gives you a heads up that, hey, this one is coming up uh, coming up due pretty soon, not not as urgent as this one in red, but the idea being that it gets your attention to tell you, okay, these things are coming up. Now, if you don't want to track this, you can just delete this, and then it's gone, and you won't see that, that highlighted. And so as for adding items onto here, it's as simple as, you know, just entering on, on here. If we did, you know, Wall Street Journal, right? We said news, same date, let's say, annual $60, however much it is. And just like that, it's filled in. Now, if you want to delete it, it can be as simple as right clicking the entire row, hitting delete. You can also right click on here, select delete, and there's an option for table rows. Either option is gonna work just fine. And so the one thing to keep in mind though, is that there are no macros in this file. So if you do want to update these charts, you need to go to the data tab and select refresh all. And then when you do that, these will update. So here you've got your annual cost by your subscriptions, and you've got your monthly subscription costs by these different categories. I didn't put monthly subscription costs by um, the, the subscriptions themselves, just because we already have that information in here. Now you do have the, the annual ones here as well, but just to sort of mix it up and show you a bit of a different view in case you wanted to look at it from a category standpoint, as opposed to the individual options. So that's in a nutshell how this template works. It's completely free to download. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this video. If you like it, please give this video a like and thanks for watching.